Hello dear students, this is Deva Shah from LG Institute of Engineering and Technology from LG University. Now, in our previous session we have discussed about the logic gates, how the different situations are coming like and or or not and based on this logic we have developed some of the logic blocks and those logic blocks we define as the logic gates. Now further if we discuss about the implementation of all logic gates in terms of mathematics in a binary way or in a digital way we can consider this mathematic as a boolean algebra so our today's topic is boolean algebra right you so earlier we defined the logic is nothing but the kind of digital logic is the underlying logic system that drives electronic circuit boards the digital logic is manipulation of binary values through the printed circuit board system that uses the circuit and logic gates to construct the implementation of computer objects. We use a kind of logic gates or different kind of modules. So those logic gates will make a specific digital module or digital circuit and that circuit would follow a specific kind of algebra and those algebra we define as a algebra. And that algebra we define as a Boolean algebra. There are certain rules we have to understand. Based on that, once we apply 0 and 1, the different operators will operate a proper function in a processor. So those kind of proper functions we define as a Boolean algebra. So here, some of the laws, some of the laws we have to learn in a Boolean algebra, and that is the one of the law is called associative laws with a digital circuits of gates, right? So, uh, this is like A plus in bracket B plus C, that is equal to, you can also define in bracket A plus B plus C, same with the dot function. So, if you have A dot in bracket B dot C, that is equal to A B in bracket with dot C. So, that is easily, you know, you can implement using this particular logic gate where one of the first law you can see the a plus in bracket b plus c so b plus c that shows the or function so here you can use the or gate and later on you can implement a plus in bracket b plus c and that's the same rule you can apply like in bracket a plus b plus c now why you can see here this kind of digital circuit because once you go with the truth table if you do this a plus in bracket b plus c that is equal to in bracket a plus b plus c that the answer will be same now now the same logic you can also apply with the help of the end gate right same way the another law that is called the cumulative law you, we all know that a plus b that is equal to b plus c in boolean algebra same way a dot b that is equal to b dot a right that is also implemented using the or gate and end gate where you can also take the three inputs like a b c and you can also put like three inputs of a b c like a dot b dot c that is equal to c dot b dot a like that way you can also implement this kind of commutative law right another one is called distributive law where a in bracket b plus c that is equal to a b plus a c now the same function or same the law you can also implement using the logic gates you can see this b plus c into a so you have a combination of or and n gate so here you have a combination of n and or gate and you will implement the function it's a b plus a c right same way separately you can take a b dot a c by taking the end gate and finally you can use the or gate so it's nothing but just exchanging the plane of end and or gate and you can realize same output y with the help of this boolean function so there are certain uh, detailed laws like here you can consider the De Morgan's law. So one of the important laws that we can define as the De Morgan's law, where it can take the logic operators or logic gates of and or and not all together, right? So one of the law of De Morgan's is the first law you can see a dot b whole bar that is equal to a bar plus b bar, right? Now same you can also implement using the logic gate. You can see here a into b whole bar, and that's not gate. You can see here I have used the kind of end gate followed by the uh, not gate. So here you can see 
you have used end gate and not gate whatever function you realize same function you can also realize by taking the not gate first and then uh, the or gate so end not it again is a combination with not or so this is also called uh, invert or gate so i can consider this particular terminology is nand and nand is defined as, as the invert or gate so always remember nand and nor these two functions are more or less with, related with the de morgan's law right now the same law like a dot b whole bar that is equal to a bar plus b bar that you can implement and also verify with the help of two tables right so let's see this here you can find this a dot b as such there are two variables a and b so we have a total four combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 right we can do the dot function of a dot b so you'll have and that will follow the kind of end gate or ending operation which is 0 0 0 and 1 right and again if you take the complement of this you consider this the next uh, column is the a dot b complement is exactly a complement of a dot b you will have 1 1 1 and 0 right likewise you can see uh, from the lhs side you can see the a bar and b bar is nothing but the complement of a and b and likewise if you do a bar plus b bar that is the oring function you can see here both the result of a dot b bar and a bar plus b bar are equal right by that way you can also prove the Morgan's law so this is what a kind of end and not combination same way you can also go for or and not combination so see this is the a plus b whole bar that is equal to a bar into b bar right so the here this particular uh, logic uh, gates diagram you can also see that here the or gate and then you have a not gate so that is equivalent to not gate and end gate so here nor gate you can also call as a bubble end gate or invert end gate right so this is one of the second important law of de morgan's law so from that you can also verify that particular boolean function with the help of truth table you can see the truth table here a and b as such there are two variables so 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 this is the sequence from that a plus b that is equal to 0 1 1 1 and the next function is a plus b whole bar you can see exactly the complement of a plus b right the same way a bar into b bar you can see the complements of a bar and b bar complements of a and complements of b you can have a bar and b bar and the dot product of a bar into b bar you can see the both the answers are equal so from that uh, you have a 2 d morgan's law is like a dot b whole bar is equal to a bar plus b bar and a plus b whole bar is equal to a bar into b bar right so those two d morgan's laws are related with then and not yet, right so based on that you have a complete chart of of the all the laws of the boolean algebra where you can see this particular table uh, the summary table you can check there, uh, there is a first law is called the identity law where 1 into a is always equal to a right so if you consider a is either 0 or 1 so you have a 1 dot 0 answer is 0 1 dot 1 answer is 1 right so it will always follow a parameter a right so 0 plus a is al answer is always 0 because if it's 0 plus 0 answer is a 0 if 0 plus 1 answer is 1 is a right so you can see this is kind of identity law same way you have a null law that means a dot 0 answer is always 0 1 plus a answer is always 1 right so uh, this is this is called null law same way you can define more uh, uh, laws like independent law is like a into a that is equal to a because it's a boolean function right so 1 dot 1 is equal to 1 0 dot 0 is equal to 0 like a plus a is equal to a because 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 and 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 right so uh, wherever you have a variable a b c anything but just you put uh, a is either 0 or 1 and you will get the answer so it, from that you can see the inverse law is a dot a bar is equal to 0 because it's a multiply with the complement of each other so this is a plus a bar is equal to 1 because it's a ordering function like commutative law we have just discussed a dot b is equal to b dot a and a plus b is equal to b plus a right same way here, here we have associative law so a dot b in a bracket into c is equal to a into bracket in a b plus c same with the ending and oring operation distributive law we just have discussed a plus bc 
that is equal to a plus b into a plus c, right? A in bracket b plus c that we have seen a b plus a c, right? Then we have absorption law. Absorption law is just we have a in bracket a plus b from that. See, you can be able to get the answer by using the formula like a dot a plus a dot b. So from that you can take the common of a where you apply the a dot a that is equal to a from the independent law. Right from here you can see the function a plus a b and we'll take a common so one plus b. One plus b that is equal to one so your answer is a. Right. Same way here you take the a common so that is one plus b answer is a. So the last one is the De Morgan's law where you can we have just discussed up the De Morgan's law where right? a plus b whole bar that is equal to b bar into b bar and a into whole bar that is equal to a bar plus b bar right so you use this particular de morgan's law and from that uh, you can apply a kind of simplification of all the boolean function like a plus ab that is you apply the all the rules and you can be able to get a plus a bar that is equal to a now what is the importance main thing is what is the importance see you have a large boolean function that means you have a large digital operations now from this large digital operations if there are more number of variables if there are more number of literals there are more operators like plus dot not get see you require a more number of gates right so simplification of this boolean function means what see the same output you can also realize with the least number of logic gates with the least number of bytes so once you uh, use this a plus a b you can see a plus a b gate that requires two gates. One is end gate and another one is odd gate. But once you simplify it, see, answer is A. So that means it's just a single straight wire that's required. From this, you can also check and verify with the truth table where A and B, two variables, so sequence is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So A dot B is equal to 0, 1, 1. Same way, you have A plus A, B. You can check the two equal uh, columns like a and a plus a b both are having the same answer so you can straight away reduce your boolean functions by reducing your boolean function uh, ultimately you are re reducing the circuit parameters or you are reducing the circuit size you are reducing the logic case you are reducing the operations right you are reducing the time so that's what the uh, you will get the fastest speed in a digital system right one more example based on the simplification or reduction of uh, functions with the basic logic gates and or and c you can apply here a kind of uh, de morgan's law where you can see a plus a bar into b where a plus a bar into b you can expand the a like a plus a plus a b plus a bar into b and once you expand this see ultimately your final answer would be a plus b by using this boolean algebra so a plus a bar into b you can implement with the help of three gates and or and not but at the end see you, you can consider that logic is nothing but the or not right so within a single logic gate or see you can same realize the output so you can realize the same output as you can uh, see like a plus a bar into b right from the, this truth table you can check here in the truth table a plus a bar b and a plus b both are having the uh, same answer based on that we have a more examples on this reduction of boolean functions and realize this basic case like a plus b into a plus c so ultimately you can uh, go through the distributive law and you further go for the simplification using the boolean algebra the final answer is a plus b c now you can check a plus b into a plus c see you require two or gates one end gate right see check this two or gates and one end gate right but after the final realization of the boolean function the answer is a plus b c right so it just it's required one end gate and one end gate. so see here we have reduced one logic gate that's what the circuit becomes more faster right and much cost effective and you can also check through the truth table where how you can uh, you know simplify all the functions so the basic idea behind this boolean algebra is kind of mathematics is just to reduce the number of gates just to realize and reduce the uh, boolean functions right thank you dear students